everybody out there. Rock's biggest night is finally here. Welcome to the first ever Rock and Roll Hall of Fame official red carpet induction ceremony pre-show. This is Greg Harris. This guy is the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Museum CEO. And um, I mean, if it wasn't for you, I guess we wouldn't really be here, would we? Well, you know, it if it wasn't for all these fans, we wouldn't be here. That's why we're here. That's for the, sure. He gave you a shout out. The, the city of Cleveland <laughs> wanted to have the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame built here. They put it together. They built it. We opened 23 years ago, and 12 million people have come here wow. to celebrate rock and roll since then. The inductions, having them here is phenomenal. Having them anywhere is phenomenal, but tonight's going to be a very special night. It is very special, and there's some really great inductees this year. Oh, yeah. You know... The, they're cheering right now because they're recognizing people out there. What fun. But yeah, these they range from, you know, this electric guitar playing gospel singer, Rosetta Tharp, who's amazing, all the way up to, you know, arena anthems with Bon Jovi and his band. The Moody Blues have been eligible for years. They finally were nominated and they got in their very first ballot. So it's going to be a great night. Uh, love being here. Love all these fans being here. And it's in this old public auditorium. The Beatles played here. The wow. Stones played here. Jimi Hendrix played here. It's a great place. So much history. Now give me a little bit. There, there's You guys have a whole thing happening. There's a museum. There's the this, the Hall of Fame. T tell me how this all involves each other. Oh, wow. So, you know, the museum that, that all these people have visited is, I think, the greatest museum in the world. It's a museum about the history of rock and roll and everybody sees their favorites in there. But the museum's open all year long. We do exhibits, we do concerts on our plaza, we did 60 days of live music last year, and in a special area of the museum, we've opened up a Hall of Fame. So these artists tonight will be enshrined in that spot forever. We were in the museum just yesterday with Bon Jovi, all the members of the band, with the Moody Blues, and they dedicated their plaque and that will hang forever. So anybody watching, come out to Cleveland, check out this Hall of Fame, see your heroes, and then experience why rock and roll is so important to all of us. <laughs> now, this is the first time that we're actually doing a live red carpet. And thank you very much for having me. It's an honor. But what made you decide to do this now as the first time? You know, we wanted to do this because we want the fans to have a chance to really see this and participate in it. But also the artists love it. This, is, this award is not for one great record, one great um, you know, soundtrack. This award is for a lifetime, a whole body of work. And um, you know, this is a, a tribute to them and their lasting legacy. So sharing it with as many people as possible, that's our goal. I hope a lot of people are watching the stream and we can share this with lots. How amazing is this gonna be tonight? Is there anybody that you have inducted already or that you're looking forward to inducting? Like, are there favorites? Have you picked favorites? You know, in, in, I'm fortunate to be in the role as president of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and Museum. <laughs> You can't really pick favorites. <laughs> That's true. It, it's like picking a favorite kid. You gotta have love them all, um, you know. But there is certain music that moves me more, and the music I grew up with, I love. Uh, always been a big fan of the Beatles, of the of sort of the Stones, garage rock, and the Clash is one of my favorites. Oh, nice. So tonight, I'm just thrilled that these ones are being inducted, and they're all terrific. Uh, we love them all, and they're all part of our family. Now it's raining really, really hard here. I don't know if you guys can tell or if you can hear it. Um, and I'm getting dripped on, which is even more fun. But I feel like maybe this is just like rock and roll heaven crying down on us, little tears of joy. I love that twist. <laughs> I think that's fantastic. Uh, we wouldn't mind some rock and roll sunshine, but I'll take some rock and roll tears from heaven. But sure. it's Cleveland. How much sunshine do we really get? <laughs> you know, all summer long, it's beautiful. Yes. Yes. True. I'm from Buffalo. I understand this, yeah. this weather. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. Thank you for hosting our first ever. Coming My out here. pleasure. And uh, thank you to all these fans for coming out and celebrating with us. It's going to be a great show tonight. Yeah, and I hope you guys stay tuned because we have so much about to happen. Um, have you guys made the trip to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame yet? Because I just did for the first time yesterday, and it's pretty epic. So the iconic building is alive with the energy, passion, and the spirit of music we celebrate. Whoa, hold on. Get moving. Woohoo! Oh, my goodness. You guys, look who we are. This is fantastic. Um, thank you for joining me on the red carpet. Uh, my pleasure. Uh, thank you for the weather, everybody. Oh, yes. We brought this especially for you. <laughs> Make me think of England. It does, doesn't it? It does. It's a little bit. Okay, tell me, how are you feeling right now? You feel good? Yeah, I feel great, and uh, what an honor to be here. Right? Absolute honor. What, what did you think when you first heard that this was happening? Uh, just, uh, just blew my mind. Blew my mind. And I thought, you know... 50 years of Moody Blues music, that's a legacy. 
and the museum is going to be another legacy. Fabulous. Right. Okay, so when you're coming up in the world, like, do you do you start planning ahead? Like, oh, one day I'm going to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. That's going to be a goal. That's what I'm going to do. No, I'm a musician. Never had a goal. I just wanted to play my bass and sing. And that's it. And that's it. And look how well you did. Oh, we've, it's great. Here we are with everyone. Brilliant. Oh, wait, I heard we have the, the rest of the band coming behind us. We do. Oh. Yep. Okay, so what, what can you tell me about the rest of the guys before they get here that they shouldn't hear? Oh, well, they're great guys. We've, uh, you know, we're friends. We've been friends since, you know, late teens, early 20s. And so. it doesn't always work out that way. There's a lot of bands that don't like each other anymore. Yeah, well, they need to look at themselves. <laughs> so what is it that you guys did right? Uh, well, because we write our own songs and uh, we, you know, we promote each other. That's what it's all about. It's love. It's, it's You're love. spreading the love. We do. You always did. We try to. Try to spread the love to everyone. <laughs> Is there anything that you want to say to your fans for, for making sure that you got in tonight? Hey, yeah, to the, all the fans, uh, this is your moment. It is, right? It is. Thanks, you guys. You did this. How do you think Nina would feel about being inducted tonight? Well, first of all, she would be honored. But the other thing she would say is, damn, Sam, it's about time. <laughs> I, it kind of is, right? Yeah, it is. It's been a long time. She is such a wonderful inspiration Thank to you. women and to musicians everywhere. Yeah. I mean, I remember the first time I ever heard her sing. Um, was Strange Fruit. That was the song. Oh, and man. it was literally the most powerful song I have ever heard in my life. It's, I'm glad you said that. That's an unusual song because I think Billie Holiday sang that song yep. first. Right. But okay. I heard Nina sing it first. And that did it for you, right? That was all I needed. And, and then I became an instant fan. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> my name is Carrie Keegan. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> so I'm happy to be here. I'm this really is, happy to this, have this you. This is awesome. Um, so what what are you looking forward to tonight? Is there is there a, a moment? Are there words? Is there obviously there's going to be a performance? <laughs> yes, there is going to be a performance. Um, I I have a lot to say. I just want them to know who Nina was, and there's a lot about them that they don't. There's a lot about Nina they don't know. In fact, she was a little girl. They don't know about that. I'm going to tell some great stories tonight. That you're going to want to hear tonight. I will make sure I listen. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, going to, it's going to be awesome. And it's going to be a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to it. And this whole thing is awesome. It really is. Yes. I mean, I can't believe so many people turning out for this thing. Um, yeah. And all these people that are standing outside in the rain and the cold. I mean, look at them. Just so we can honor your sister. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, Nina Simone. Yes. Yeah. This is wrong. Who's a Nina I, Simone fan? Nina <laughs> Simone. Yes. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is wild. What do you think it is about her music that connects her to so many people? Because she's real. Yeah. There's nothing fake about Nina Simone. Her struggle, who she was. Yeah. She had a vision as a black woman. She, her, her dream was to be the very fact, first, first black uh, classical pianist. That's an amazing dream. Yep. And I think to all young black girls and black women, women, I would like for her to be an inspiration to them. And I hope that she is. And I think that's why people love her, because she played no games. Mm. You, you got what you want. When you see Nina Simone, you got it. It was real. She played no games. And also, she struggled. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's the most important thing. But they're not cheering for her struggle right now. No. <laughs> that was no. odd timing. No. No, 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 And she represents a period of civil rights, you know. Yes. You know, uh, I mean, I, I, I'm from the civil rights period. I, I sang at Martin Luther King's funeral. I went to jail with him in Philadelphia. Wow. Um, we marched together in Cairo, Illinois, and Philadelphia, Mississippi. So I'm a survivor. And I think she represents a period in this time when this country was turbulent. Yep. In the 60s. So there's a lot here that why people relate to her. Has anything changed? The, uh, the more things change, the more they remain That's the exactly same. exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> no, not, not much. But I think so. And uh, the struggle is still there. Mm. But I think people's civil rights are being still violated in a lot of ways. In a lot of ways. And I think that's what she stood for. Is there anybody um, out there today, musician-wise, that you feel is sort of representing what Nina put out there? Yes. I'm going to say this, and this, Lauren Hill is one of them. Yep. <laughs> no, for real, Lauren Hill, 
oh, Lauren Hill is Mary J. Bly. I'm, I'm not saying that deliberately, but I'm saying those people, those artists, stand for something that is convincing. They will be they're honest. They're being true to themselves. Yeah. And nobody tells them what to do. Damn and straight. <laughs> damn straight. <laughs> and that's why Nina Simone represents that to them, I yeah. think. You know? And that's what I want to say tonight in my speech. All right, you guys, we are here with Graham from the Mooney Blues. Woo! Woo! Yeah, I'm whoa, whoa, come on. Mooney Blues! <laughs> <laughs> they get, they're stuck over there in the rain. They can't see everything. <laughs> yeah, poor, <laughs> poor creatures. We might have liked that. Um, how great is it that they came out here to honor you in the rain and the cold? Uh, well, uh, the fans have been doing it for 50 years uh, that the most loyal and the best fans on earth. Would you be yeah. here without them, you think? Oh, no, of course not. <laughs> Actually, I'll probably be pushing up daisies without them. <laughs> Is there, okay, so obviously you're, you're being inducted tonight. Yeah. And that's a very big deal. Is there any one person that you couldn't have done it without, you know, aside from the fans? Was there somebody in your life a moment that happened, something that triggered everything that you're here because of that. You mean apart from the other guys? Apart from the other guys. Uh, uh, They're kind of important. Yeah. <laughs> my granddad. Because he, yeah. he was a vocalist as well. A vocalist. Uh, I'm not a vocalist, I'm a drummer. <laughs> but uh, he was a vocalist and uh, he was a professional. And he toured, I mean, back then. Uh, it was almost the stagecoach days. <laughs> but uh, he... He uh, was the inspiration and, and my muse and, and the way he kept saying, you know, you can do it, he, he, uh, got me there. And he, he always wanted to see me perform at the London Palladium. And he did. Four months before he died, he did. Wow. So that was really cool. That's fantastic. Was there like a like a holy shit moment that you had while you were in the blues? <laughs> while you were doing in the band? Um, I suppose yes, there was. Uh, it was early in the early days, and we got a stage all set out, and then um, people get um, for the drums they get a little podium, and it's always too small. <laughs> and I just got the seat all set, and it was only about a quarter of an inch of room, and so we're playing about four or five songs. And then there's a big end coming, and I go, bum, 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 bum. And I do the symbols like this, and I go leaning backwards. <laughs> and I go back and back. And then I finally, I hook my two uh, feet underneath the drum kit. To, <laughs> and of course, that all came down on top of me as well. So I go, holy shit. And I'm down there, winded, in, injured, spikes all over the place. And the entire audience and all of the rest of the Moody's were pissing themselves and laughing. <laughs> that is so rock and roll. I love it. That's where Spinal Tap got all their moves, obviously. Uh, yes. <laughs> right for the Moody Blues. <laughs> all right, you guys, we have another very special person here on the wet red carpet. Um, this is Desmond Child. And uh, he's kind of a really big deal because you basically have written every song we've ever been in love with. <laughs> that is the truth. Kind of the truth. Well, I'm sorry, there was one song you didn't one, write. One, Happy Birthday, okay? Right. Okay, that was the one. Yeah. <laughs> How did you get hooked up with Bon Jovi to begin with? Well, I used to work with Kiss and Paul Stanley, and uh, John asked Paul for my number, and then we got together the first day and wrote You Give Love a Bad Name. <laughs> I mean, that's not a bad first day, is it? Yeah, first day's work. <laughs> then we wrote Living on a Prayer together. John, Richie, Sambora, and I. That's amazing. So you've gone from giving love a bad name to giving rock and roll a really wonderful day. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's got to feel good. Yeah, it does feel good. And just, I'm so proud of, of the whole entire band. Everyone's worked so hard to make this band a legend because it really is hard work all these years and they've been so consistent and they just keep writing, keep believing and I'm just happy to be part of the Bon Jovi family. That's incredible. So I mean, they're obviously quite deserving. Everybody here is a huge Bon Jovi fan. I mean, 
It's kind of really amazing that you get to spend all this time with them, and I know that everybody's really jealous. So, like, do you have any stories from behind the scenes that you want to share? Like, was there a moment where, I don't know, somebody fell asleep at the wheel, or I don't know, something? Give me, give me a little uh, behind I the remember scenes. once, a long time ago, John was in L.A., and he just didn't have any, anything to do that day for some reason. And I said, oh, and he said, what are you doing? I said, well, I have these appointment, appointments. And he said, okay, I'll drive you. So he drove me to like five appointments and just <laughs> sat in the lobby. It's pretty cool when John Bon Jovi's your chauffeur. That is pretty incredible. Yeah. yeah. That um, was one of the funnest days. How, can we, do you think that, you know, we can work that out? Do you think he's got any more days off where he's just not doing anything? I don't to, think so. He's going to be an Uber. <laughs> John Bon Jovi's going to be your next Uber driver. <laughs> After, I mean, where do you go from here? <laughs> it's, yeah. Where do you go from there? <laughs> Once you're inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, then I feel it's like, Uber. Then it's Uber. <laughs> <laughs> or Lyft. <laughs> Lyft. <laughs> Do you have a favorite song that you guys did together? Living on a Prayer. Why? Because it means so much to so many people. And, you know, they always play it at the end of the night. And no one will leave until they've heard Living on a Prayer. And when they start to play Living on a Prayer, it's goosebumps. Everyone just screams it out. You can't even hear the band. It means so much to people. It does. And I remember once we got a letter from a guy that said he was going to kill himself. And so he went to the bridge, just jumped out of the car, left the car running, was ready to jump, and Living on a Prayer came on the radio. And he said, oh, well, that's my favorite song, so let that be the last song I hear. So he went back in the car. By the end of the song, he drove home. Oh, wow. So Bon Jovi has saved a life. That is amazing. Yeah, but we get so many letters of people that say our music has, has helped them through hard times. And, you know, so it... and. It's a song about hope, yeah. and that's in such little supply these days. So That's for sure. We need some joy in our lives, yeah. and that's what the Hall of Fame is all about, adding yeah. a little bit of joy back into the world. Absolutely. <laughs> um, I, I am so happy that you came by. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing this and with us. I think we match, right? Um, yeah. Did you, did you guys notice? We have a, these, you know, he does collaborations with Bon Jovi, <laughs> but we do collaborations of our own, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Haley, you're from American Idol. Yeah, that's where I hail from. Um, and that's, you're so you're used to holding the microphone. And that's pretty yeah, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you did a, a Moody Blues cover. I did. Um, tell me about that, because obviously that's a very important thing to be doing right now. Yeah. <laughs> well, I feel honored to be here first and foremost. I've, I've watched this in the induction ceremonies growing up as a kid. So I thought it was perfect to bring my dad along with me, and he's a guitarist and a musician, so we just figured why not, you know, sit around and um, do a little cover of the Moody Blues. We just saw them do their Q&A, and also got to sit in on their sound check. So, you know, wanted to make, make it come full circle, because we're such great fans of them, and all the other inductees, so. Dreams great. really do come true here at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. They do. <laughs> I couldn't be happier to be here, and everybody's so nice. Who were your inspirations growing up? Uh, pretty much all sounds of the 60s and 70s, rock and roll, the Beatles, the Stones, Janis, I mean, Dusty, there's so many, the list goes on and on. So this is like, you know, like you said, it really is a dream come true to be here and share this with everybody. Now, um, we're inducting some really great rock bands, but we also have, obviously, Nina Simone yes. and Sister Rosetta Tharp. Yes. The first time I saw Sister Rosetta Tharp, I was, my jaw was just on the ground. Me too, me too. And I kept saying, well, how had I never heard of this woman before? Same. Why is she not a staple in everyone's vocabulary? Isn't that crazy She's to think? such a rock star. You're right, you're so right. And as far as, you know, Sister Rosetta and also Nina, I sing a lot of jazz too. So growing up, having those kind of voices be an influence, I mean... And, and the playing, I mean, it's just, they were they were true innovators of their time. And thankfully, now, today, they're getting all the recognition that they deserve. Is there anybody you're going to be yelling overly loud for inside? Well, I heard there's quite a few surprises, so I'm really excited to see what that's all about. But um, Moody Blues again. Oh, as people are chanting Blues their name. Can't wait. <laughs> Can't wait for them and everybody that's on the list. I mean, this is going to be a really fun night. Congratulations. Thank you very much. You're, you're official now. You're in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yes, I'm very grateful, very pleased. Yeah, did, it's lovely. Did it means you, a lot to me. Did you work very hard? Was this the goal? 
<laughs> or was this just did you just skate one? I worked the very whole hard time? to pay the rent, you know. That's a, that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> Is that how it's rock a lovely it's a lovely thing? Yeah, it's a lo it's a lovely thing. I'm very grateful to the Rock Hall. It's the, you know, to be celebrated in this place, which is, um, you know, in the same street even as my real heroes. It's a wonderful thing. Tell me yeah. who your heroes were. Well, Buddy Holly when I was growing up and the Everly Brothers. And I'm so proud that we're with Nina Simone in this induction because right. she was a heroine of mine when I was a young, you know, she's kind of taught me how to sing with her records. Had you ever met her? I'd seen her in, in France, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I bet she was amazing when you're just sitting right in powerful. that room. Intense and powerful, but wonderful. Yeah. So today's a an joy. extra special day then? Yes, of course, yeah. Every it's day is an extra. <laughs> if I'd have known how fabulous the last 50 years was going to be, I'd have enjoyed every moment. You know. As it is, been pretty much stressful all the way. Has there been one moment that stood out in the last 50 years where you're like, that's the reason why we're here right now? I think, no, you know, it never occurred to me like that. And I think, I think the reason why we're here right now is because the Moody Blues fans, once they'd opened the door to our nomination, it was like a steamroller, baby. It you sure know? is. So <laughs> it, it, they, they weren't going to let it close on us. So to be inducted at the first nomination is wonderful for us. And um, the Mo Moody Blues fans have given us a wonderful life in music, and I'm, I'm very happy with that. So what are you going to do pleased. next for them then? I mean, this is 50 years of full-on dedication now. I think they well, deserve still, some more. I'm still trying to pay the rent, you know, <laughs> and uh, I'm still trying to do what I want to do, and I hope that's what they want me to do as well, yes. to share the music and to create a little bit of magic in a room. That's all my purpose. We absolutely want you to continue. Thank you, so yeah. please don't go away. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no chance of that. Yeah. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. Thank you. Um, who are you most excited to see tonight? Um, who I'm most excited to see is probably I'm um, uh, Brittany Howard doing the tribute song for um, uh, Rosetta Tharp. <laughs> Hold on, I got people talking to me. I can't, I can't, I can't hear. Um, wait, this is a live red carpet, you guys. Lots of things are going to happen. We're getting rained on. We're getting things that just don't work all the way. It's fine. We're going to be great. <laughs> um, tell me, sorry, tell me again who, wait, who you just said. Um, I'm most excited to see um, uh, Brittany Howard do the tribute oh, song yes. for... Rosetta Tharp. Mm -hmm. um, were you a fan of Rosetta Tharp before? Um, I actually didn't know most of her like music, but now that I've like discovered it, it's really awesome. She is incredible. Um, so I'm pretty excited about seeing the cars. Nobody has talked about the cars yet. And cars? I, 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 who are they? <laughs> oh my god, you guys, the cars are being inducted tonight. <laughs> Bon Jovi, The Cars, Dire Straits, we've seen the Moody Blues, they've walked this carpet already. Um, <laughs> I just, I feel like we're sort of standing in awesomeness right yeah. here. It's just a big, <laughs> a big red carpet of wonderful. Definitely. Um, who are your inspirations? Um, my inspirations, I mean, for the people that are being inducted today, or just in general, because I mean, like a lot of my inspirations, like, there's tons of people that have been inducted to that thing, like Johnny Cass, yeah. um, John Fogarty, just, so many artists that I've looked up to over the years and have inspired my music. It's, it's fantastic. And you know what? The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is filled with so many people. Have you been through it yet? I have. <laughs> wow. I mean, just wall to wall. Every inch of it is just history and inspiring tunes. <laughs> I love it so much. Thank you so much for coming by. Thank you. Enjoy tonight. <laughs> have will. fun. So Crystal is Nina Simone's niece, yes, is that I right? Am. Yes, I am. Okay, so, I mean, she's being honored here tonight, deservedly so. Absolutely. Um, I mean, were you just listening to her all growing up? Were you inspired by her as much as we were? Well, absolutely. <laughs> but one thing I realized is that she and I both shared something special, and it took me to be an adult to realize that, and that was that we were both artists. But we used to spend summers with her when I was four years old, and so I love her very much. She's one of the first people to give me my first bottle of champagne. Oh, um, hello. <laughs> yeah, and so and she was very proud of me when she found out that I was becoming somewhat successful in this business. And tonight, for me, I just wanted to be in a room of people that appreciate and love her. Well, you picked the right place. Oh, yeah. The yeah. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, this is all we <laughs> want to do, is just honor really, really talented people. <laughs> Fantastic, and thank you all for doing it. Thank you.
Now, um, I heard that you just got cast on Big Little Lies. Is that yes, right? Yes, I did. Oh, how fun. <laughs> that it's show is fantastic. so good. fantastic. <laughs> it's absolutely wonderful, full of powerful women. And what I love about it is that I have gone from one powerful show to another with uh, two of my bosses being Oprah and Tyler. Yep. And now Tyler Perry. Re yes, Tyler Perry. <laughs> and Reese Witherspoon and um, Nicole Kidman. Um, you're yeah. doing all right, I feel uh, like. Just a little bit, mm -hmm. but it took a long time. Yeah. So what was it that you, do you think you got some of the drive that Nina um, had in her growing up? I hope so. I think so because it takes a lot to persevere. Yeah. That's the other thing. That's another reason I wanted to be here. It's a, it, it's a huge statement for perseverance. This is not an easy business to no, it be is in, not. this no, entertainment it is not. business. No. What do you think is the hardest part? Honestly, persevering, yeah. especially. Um, people say reinventing yourself, but I don't know if that's it. You just keep doing your work, doing your work and showing up and hopefully what you put out there people like and they will appreciate it and say thank you like today you yes. have a very positive attitude this is really really nice not everybody <laughs> has that you know how do you keep it Let's just say this is what it's like today yeah. there have been some really really hard days I'm a really sure, really hard yeah. day but but I, I it would be crazy for me not to be as grateful as I am today. I'm very blessed today. But I've been doing this for 38 years. So I have persevered to this point, just like Aunt Nina did too. And she hasn't been here to see how many, how much people still love her. Right. Oh. And that's what I wish she could see today. They really, really do. What, what do you think she'd be saying right now? <laughs> Seriously? Yep. She would be like, it's about time. <laughs> It's about damn time. <laughs> yes, she would. <laughs> She's so great. Do you have a favorite song of hers? Oh, my goodness. Um, believe it or not, I sang it for her because she asked me, how to, did I sing? And I said, and did I sing her music? And I said, no, because you're Nina Simone. But it's a song called um, Turning Point. Yeah. And it's about a child realizing what prejudice is for the first time. And it's unspoken, but it's fabulous. Oh, I love God. that. Mm -hmm. She's wonderful. You're wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for stopping by. You look by. fabulous. Thank you. you I love too. our colors. <laughs> We're Thanks. matching. Yeah. <laughs> we decided to be awesome on the red carpet. I love, I love it. I love it. <laughs> All right, you guys. Ann Wilson Hi. is here. Okay. <laughs> This is so wonderful to have you on the red carpet. Thank you. Thank um, so you're, this is not your first time at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. No, it's my second. Yeah, yeah. only the second time. Yeah. Yep. First time was kind of a big deal. It was when you were being inducted. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so how does it feel to be back for someone else, namely the Moody Blues? I love it. I love it because, uh, you know, I get to be a part of the, the fun part of the side rather than when you're being inducted, you know, it's kind of a nerve wracking thing. You're kind of scared and... You're flattered and everything and happy, but still, it's kind of nerve-wracking. Yes. This is way more fun. It's a lot less pressure, huh? Yeah, and I get to get up and give a speech and everything. So you're inducting the Moody Blues yes. into the Rock Hall. What is it about the Moody Blues that just got you? I always loved them from the time I was about 16 years old. I just loved how romantic they were. I loved their spiritual message. Mm. It was kind of philosophic in a way that I could understand, you know, as a kid. Yeah. And they never really gave that up. They've always been honest and authentic. Great uh, Justin Hayward, a great songwriter. Nights in White Satin, you know. I, I mean, mean, the best. Amazing. So, <laughs> and what's, also, what's not to like? All of them are really nice guys. Yeah. There's yeah. something really special and magical about being able to be in this business for 50 years and still having such a positive attitude and an appreciation for their fans. Right. It's, yeah. a, it's a wonderful thing to see happiness. Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> Which is yeah. what their music brings to all of us, yeah. I guess. So uh -huh. it's, it's a nice little yep. Yep. cycle that we have going on here. Yes, yep. Um, what inspired you? What, which music inspired you when you were growing up? Well, of course I like the Beatles. Yes. I like the Rolling Stones. They're both featured here in the Rock Hall. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> I liked um, anything that, that was really uplifting and inspiring uh, rocked hard. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Oh, speaking of rocking hard, we are also inducting Bon Jovi today. Oh yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> Were you a fan of Bon Jovi? Yeah. 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 Me too. They gave love a bad name. I don't know if you knew that. <laughs> <laughs> love is capable of <laughs> giving itself a bad name if you ask it to. That, that is also true. <laughs> Do you have any sort of holy shit moments from your career that got you to where you are today? Too many to mention. <laughs> yeah, I've got a, a lot of holy shit moments for sure. Lots of things that if I had to do over again, I probably would have been somewhere else, you know. Uh huh. But, you know, that's what, at the end of the day, that's what tells you that you lived. 
Right. And, uh, you know, the wrinkles, the scars, the ups and downs, you know, that's, that's life. I, so I'm not scared of that. No, I wouldn't yeah, be either. Yeah. And these halls are filled with all of those. Oh, yeah, <laughs> right. That's one of the coolest things about coming here for me is I get to be around other people my age. <laughs> that's amazing. Jerry Cantrell! Hey. Ah. It couldn't be! Hello, Cleveland! <laughs> That never gets old, does it? It never gets old. You can you do that every it. night. You can thank Rob Reiner for that. It's yeah. so good. <laughs> Hi. Hi, how you doing? Well, welcome to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You look as cold as I am. It so, is yeah. so cold. What's up, guys? We've been out here for a while. It's dripping on us. It's freezing. Yeah. But we're here because we love it. I brought the LA uh, sunshine for two days, but it didn't last. You beat me yeah, back. Yeah, so. thanks a lot yeah. for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're inducting some pretty great bands tonight. Yep. Um, who are you here to see? Uh, I'm really excited about the Cars and uh, Bon Jovi. Actually, I, Bon Jovi, I think, is long overdue to be here, and and they're well they're uh, well deserving of, of being inducted into the Hall of Fame. It is yeah. pretty amazing. Yeah. They they've stood the test of time. Yep, Dire Straits and Moody Blues too. I really. I like mean, as all well. of them yeah. have been uh, amazing yeah. inspirations for so many people, and I feel like I mean Bon Jovi just specifically, I guess, because they that's what I grew sure. up with. You know? Yeah, I did too. Um, they they have figured out what it is that it, it means to be sort of the, the every guy yep. and bring it to us. Well, you know, it, it makes it, us feel like we succeeded somehow because they <laughs> did. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, uh, it's incredible that they've had such a long career as they have and, and uh, uh, all of the different eras and songs and, and you know, uh, you know, I first became aware of them like MTV air days, you know, when, when they actually still played rock and roll. <laughs> but, <laughs> but uh uh, well deserved. Uh, what we got, Nita Simone too. Nita and, Simone and, and Sister Rosetta. Tharp. That's right. That's right. I that's mean, right. that woman is insanely good on the guitar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was she a little inspiration for you then? I was not as familiar. Actually, I was I, I was listening to the music yesterday, and uh, that that's one artist I wasn't quite up on. But, but yeah, very cool. Very she's, cool. She's yeah. considered an early influencer. And I, I feel bet. like she needs to I be bet. a constant influencer. That's why she's here. Yeah, and yeah. I feel like tonight we're probably going to introduce her to a lot of younger generations that just had no idea. That's right. She's phenomenal. That's a great thing about music. Once you put it out there, it's there to find. Somebody may not find it at the right time. They may find it later. It's out there. Somebody's going to connect with it. And that's a great thing. So, so speaking of, what, yeah. what's new? What's uh, What do you got for us? Uh, Alice in Chains has finished a record. And we were going to put it out this year. So uh, we're going to hit the road, I believe, uh, April 28th in Boston and work the, work the East Coast. We got uh, Europe, European dates all through the summer and then uh, West Coast in the fall. And Fantastic. I think that's when the record drops. Yeah, so, Excellent. Yeah, pretty cool. Welcome to a very cold and rainy Cleveland. Feels great. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even have a jacket on. No, we wanted to look nice. Yeah, well, it does matter because we're here on the red match. carpet and we need to be fancy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, tell me, tell me, oh, tell me your name. I'm Jesse Lapser. Hi. Hi Welcome to the Hall of Fame. Thank you. Um, so today's kind of a really big deal. Yes, it is. Who, who are we presenting? Would you like to say it? I am presenting the award for Sister Rosetta Tharp. It's who my honor. Happens to be one of the coolest women I have ever. Um, she's incredible. In my life. <laughs> yeah, she's like amazing. I'm so excited for like everyone that's going to tune in to get to know who this woman is. How did you discover her? I, I, I was playing an SG Custom, you know, it's a type of guitar, and everyone was telling me, oh, Sister Rosetta Tharp plays one of those. And I'm like, who's that? <laughs> Checked it out, and I was like, oh, wow. That is, I'm trying to learn more about that. So it's like a huge honor for me to be here today to accept it on her behalf. So you got to do a lot of research then. Did you find anything in your discoveries when you were writing your speech? I'll just say that we have a lot in common. <laughs> like what? What was the one thing that stood out? Uh, she broke uh, almost all the rules. Yeah. 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 You do that. I like to do that. <laughs> Isn't it more fun when you do it that way? Life's more interesting. Yeah. yeah for sure. I mean, when you have to stay within the lines, meh. That's not rock and roll, baby. That's not it. <laughs> so are there any other um, similarities, do you think, between what you do and what she did? You know, when it comes to my guitar playing, it um, I just play how I feel. It's not a technical standpoint. And I think that's exactly how she plays. She plays from the very soles of her feet all the way to the top of her head, and mm -hmm. she is the instrument. And that's how I feel about the instrument as well, you know. Um, are there any particular songs that you think people should listen to first, maybe? Yeah, start with That's All. <laughs> yeah. 
Hi. How you doing? What's happening? What's up? How you um, doing? It's cold. It's rainy, and we're on a red carpet. Yeah, we it's, are. It's what we do. <laughs> yeah. You know, the show must go on. Um, welcome to the Rock Hall. Thank you. Thank you. It's thank kind you of a big me. deal this year. Oh, every year is a big deal. It's true. Yeah, you know, anyone getting inducted in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is a big deal. Um, so you guys are here for Sister Rosetta Tharp. And uh, Nina Simone. And we're, doing Nina Sim we're doing double duty. Oh, yeah, are, double are you duty. giving away secrets already? Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know you're, you're going to have to find out tonight. Um, okay, so I know that I have just recently discovered Sister Rosetta Tharp, and I, uh -huh. I feel like the world needs to know more about this woman. Absolutely. Like, I'm, I'm on the, 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 the voting uh, member board that nominates the audience, artist, and, you know, She's been on our wish list for at least the last 12 years. So, so. what took so long? Do you think, why, why is now the right time? Um, I was just as shocked as the world <laughs> was to see it, you know, because I was arguing, like, let her get in as an earlier, you know, early influence. Because even, like, Howlin' Wolf and there are other acts that are in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame that didn't get voted in. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they told us just trust the process, which I didn't believe, but sure enough, it happened, so. You and know, now we get, to, we get to celebrate probably one of the coolest women I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, the world gets to know. <laughs> she, she invented fuzz guitar, so, you know, the, the, world, the world gets to know. The first time I ever saw her, I see this woman walking across a train station, a platform. Oh, and in, in and the UK. And she straps on the guitar, and I'm like, where is this going? Yeah, yeah. And then she just lets out the biggest, crunchiest electric guitar whale I have ever seen. Uh, she's highly influential, and, you know, we're, we're, we're very honored to be honoring her tonight. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And then, of course, Nina Simone. Absolutely. Yeah, that too. And that's, we have members of, of her family here today. Her brother's her here. Her brother's here, yeah. And her niece yeah. is here. Yeah. Um, so that's exciting. I wish that Nina could be here. Yes. <laughs> but she's here in spirit. So, you know, it's, it's good that uh, her, her family's here to uh, see her get honored. And um, we hope we do her justice. Absolutely. Um, can you give us a little hint? Where you're no, absolutely. Uh, no secrets. No secrets. No yeah, secrets. Okay. No secrets. You talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> I think people are shocked to see us here. <laughs> now we're we're part of both uh, tributes and there's surprises uh, galore. So you guys are going to be doing a Bon Jovi cover? Is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? You know, we're from the tri-state area. <laughs> Um, it's happening. You guys did it. You officially, you worked hard enough that we're now going to just, you know, commemorate you forever in a hall. Well, thank you. We're very, <laughs> very honoured to be here and very pleased to be here. I'm sorry there's only three of us, but three's better than none. I'm going to take what I got and be very, very <laughs> happy. And I know these guys are pretty happy Hello. about the Dire Straits being here. Oh, they're they're daring the cold and they're daring the, the rain and yeah, the sleet yeah, yeah. and the snow. I don't know what else is happening Isn't that here. Isn't <laughs> it's just like England, yeah. Normal for Cleveland, huh? I guess so, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so what does this feel like for you guys? Is this? It feels pretty weird right now, but, uh, uh, you know, we've been uh, doing it for 40-odd years, so uh, it's kind of nice to, for it to come round. Yeah, you deserve it. And join the club. Um, yeah. I have to say that um, money for nothing. Okay. I mean, that that's how... I was introduced to you guys. Yeah. That was, it's like MTV. It was like the, the perfect quintessential song. Yeah. You guys are forever now just pretty much the coolest thing that ever happened. Wow, that's a, that's a great compliment. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, <laughs> Only truth. <laughs> it was, uh, I think it was just good timing. Perhaps. You know, uh, the album came out and uh, Money for Nothing came out and MTV came out in Europe and was worldwide. The whole thing knitted together and bang, you know. Just like that. Just it, like it was that. just yeah, like yeah. that. You just guys, like it didn't that. take any hard work. It just purely took some timing. Well, you got to have a good song to go with it, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, that helps, huh? And thankfully, we had a good songsmith. So, how did you keep putting together all these great songs? What was the magic? Songs. Yes. Yeah, I mean, he had a. He always had a great song. So, if you've got a great song, it's not that difficult, honestly. It really it's really not that hard to be awesome, huh? If you've got a song, <laughs> it's hard to write a, write a great song. That's the hard bit. Yeah, but then you've got to have a good band to play it. That's true. See, Which taking the credit where it's due. Well, you know, it's all part of the it's all part of the system. You know, if you haven't got a good band to play the songs, it's not going to work. Okay, yeah. now obviously the Rock Hall is filled with um, many many legends. Yeah. So who were you guys inspired by? Oh my God, where do you start? <laughs> The Beatles. Beatles, yes. Who? I'm sorry, who? What was that band? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that little band, right. Well, you know, the Stones, Elvis, Chuck Berry, uh, for me, J.J. Cale, Dry Cuda, Bob Dylan, big, big influence. Yeah. 
big influence. Still is. Van Sister Morrison. Rosetta Thorpe. <gasps> yeah, there we go. So we've been talking about her all night, and obviously, yeah. rightfully so, she's being inducted tonight. Yeah. Yeah. She's incredible. Yeah. yeah. She's yeah, she and, and she's one of those people that I, I'm, I'm very serious when I say this. I want everyone to know who she is yeah. now. Well, hopefully now, everyone will know. I hope so. I is. hope that this brings her into yeah. a lot more homes. Yeah, and us. <laughs> oh, oh, and the Dire Straits, by the way. <laughs> is there anything that you're looking forward to tonight in particular? Dinner. Looking forward That's to good. some dinner and also looking forward to uh, actually having a drink afterwards. Yeah. yeah. You well, know? you're not going to be drinking during? Well, you know, it's, uh, it's a little nerve-wracking sort of having to get up in front of all this, uh, this very important bunch of people in there and um, getting it right. Right. Do, do you have all your words? Do you have everything written down? Uh, Are your thank yous in order? Are there? Yeah. Oh, that my hand. Oh, oh no, it's not oh, there. No, the rain washed it off. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you have any okay. good words for these people out here and out there that are well, all? Well, thank you very much for voting yeah. for us. If you did, uh, if you didn't, thanks for voting for the other guys. We're amongst a. <laughs> Uh, a great bunch of uh, people tonight. Yeah. We've been talking about this woman all night now, obviously, Sister Rosetta Tharp. She's going to be very proud tonight. Do you think she would oh, be? I know it, I know it, I know it, I know it, because uh, Brittany Howard is joining us, yes. and we're both going to throw down for Sister Rosetta tonight. I cannot wait to see your performance. Oh, yeah. It's going to be, be incredible. I'll be channeling her, no doubt. Oh. That what was it about her that just, she was so special. She rocked so hard. So hard. But she also felt like, I just want to hug her. I know. You know, if, if you put it in historical perspective, you can really understand the impact she had. Because she was a superstar, like in the 30s and 40s. And back then, the rock stars were clarinet players. Right. They weren't even playing guitar. Right. You know, so she brought that out there and showed everybody, no, we're going to rock it on the guitar. And that set it all up for rock and roll. And people don't know that, but it did. It's the truth. She really is. Yeah. She's the godmother of rock and roll. Yes, yeah, she is. I, I feel like she might even have been the creator, but I don't know. Maybe I'm giving her you too much. You know, it kind of, yeah, she kind of spurred it on. I mm -hmm. think other people might have added to it to bring it to the kids, but yeah, she was there at the beginning. She was the breaking... The first module, the first molecular cell of it was she her. She was the spark. Yeah, I feel like she was breaking all the right rules, mm -hmm. <laughs> and she was doing all the right things. No doubt, no doubt. <laughs> Is there one song in particular that you love more than others of hers? Yeah, the one I'm going to sing tonight. Yes. Yeah, it's called Strange Things Are Happening Every Day. It was her biggest, her biggest number. She used to always use it as her closer. So I said, I'm, I'm grabbing that one. Yeah, that's a good choice. Mm -hmm. That's the one. That's the one. <laughs> are you a fan of anybody else that's here tonight? Every single one of them. Are you kidding me? Mm. Every single one. So I'm going to be walking around going, hi, <laughs> taking pictures. Are you going to be selfieing all night tonight? Yes. All night. Look, I got it right here. That's so I'm good. Ready. You're ready to go. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> oh, good. Well, I How got you doing? Okay. All right, you guys. We got Bon Jovi in the house. <laughs> All right. Pretty much, you, we, we're having a little reunion here. This is pretty much the greatest time of my life. How are you feeling? We're excited. We're very happy to be here. It's a um, wonderful night. I can't even believe it took this long to get you guys inducted, but here we are. That's right. We're here in beautiful Cleveland. And it can't get any louder. I feel like... Every, my ears are killing me. These people are great. They're great. They're fabulous. It's a spring day in Cleveland. It is. It's just a regular, warm, sunny, rainy, freezing day. Okay, because of your fans, you guys pretty much got voted, um, like, instantly. You got voted into the Hall of Fame, like, with a landslide. Thank you. I mean, our fans have been very dedicated for three-plus decades. I mean, we're still making number one records and touring the world and selling every arena and stadium out. So, I mean, it's... It's wonderful. What yeah. is it that you do that is so magical? You've got us all spellbound. I don't know, my darling. We just write songs for us, and then it seems that people relate to them. It is true. I feel like when you guys succeeded, it, it gave like the every man a reason to feel good. Thank you. You did it for Thank us. You. Is that true? I did it for us, <laughs> but the us was we. Mm. You know, and I mean, everybody else, you know, felt a part of that. Is there one song or? Um, Something that you've written in the past that sort of says everything to you now? You know, it's really hard to think that there'd be just one. I mean, there's going to be half a dozen, but you can't think that living on a prayer and wanted dead or alive and, you know, always all be mentioned the day that it's, you know, not a celebration, but the funeral, you know? But yeah, we've had a body of work. Have you had um, one holy shit moment that has st stood out? Oh, my darling, I've had 35 years of holy shit moments, and you know, <laughs> tonight's another one of them. 
Well, doing I get a mic. Great. Yeah, you get your own mic. I get a mic. You deserve one. I feel like. And I deserve a mic to sing for you. Oh, I get serenaded on the red carpet. See too. what happens when you hang out with me? Wow, this is what happens when you hang out with an inductee. A inductee an or indu- inductee? An inductee. All right. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, thanks very much. Does this feel good? How could it not Does feel it good? Does it feel awful? <laughs> no, not at all. Because, you know, when you reach out through songwriting and you, you're trying to reach your fans and mm-hmm. communicate, and we've communicated very, very well with 135 million records. Right. <laughs> and we've played to over 34 million people. Uh, so, obviously, the, uh, the songs that John and I were writing uh, got through to people and showed people, I really believe, that, um, you know what? We share more humanity in this world as people than we don't. Yeah. You know what I mean? We feel the same way. We go through heartbreak. We go through tragedies. We go through sickness. We go through the love. We go through all of that stuff. So uh, I've been lucky enough to have the profound opportunity to be able to be a big part of that, man. And then this is just like people going, hey, you did it. You know what I mean? So It's a little cherry on top. A big cherry on top, <laughs> baby. You know what I mean? If somebody would have told me when I grew up that any of this shit was happening... I would have been like, yeah, right, you know. Um, For whatever it's worth, if anyone had told me when I was growing up doing air band to you guys, running around my house, rocking the neighborhood, that I'd be standing here Uh, while you're being inducted. uh, That's wonderful. Never would have believed it in a million years. I'm so happy for you guys. Thank you very much. We're very happy, too. And uh, that's the way it goes, man. We just had a great lucky life, and we worked really, really hard. You know, one of the hardest things to do is find four guys with you that are dedicated and talented and are willing to go through the trenches and the cyclic changes in the music business and all that kind of stuff and the tragedies in each other's lives. I mean, we've been bet deaths, born, married, divorced, this, that. I mean, you know, it's a family, really. That's what it comes down to. You yeah. see the kids, how beautiful yeah. they are. Oh, my God, you guys came We're with so a whole entourage. Lucky. It's a wonderful. So lucky. My daughter was like, oh, my Lord. Like, Can you stop that girl now? looking too good <laughs> well thank you so much for stopping by i i know you, they need to get you inside unprompted i mean this is what you unprompted. do unprompted i didn't even do that shit <laughs> ow i didn't even do that bon jovi class of 2018 2018 baby <laughs> Woo! the killers are here oh. All right, so uh, you guys are going to be inducting some people tonight, some people that actually mean a lot to me. Yeah. The Cars. The Cars were like the coolest band on the planet. Yeah, yeah. They were like, they, for, I mean, it was new wave right when it needed to be different. They were, yeah, they, yeah, they were mainstream, but they, they didn't behave like mainstream artists or, you know, or bands. And so it was a unique situation that they were in. And, was, and they were able to be really cool and really massive. And it was the first cassette that I ever had was a Cars cassette. And so I'm, it's just a real honor to be here. What, what, what was the favorite song? What's your favorite? I like Double Life. Ooh, double life song. Yeah. Yeah. Are you in? Do you agree, or you like something uh, different? I mean, I, I, like a lot of people, I think the first song I fell in love with was probably just what I needed, mm. and then of course it, it, it branches out. But you're all I've got tonight, and songs Jeez. like that start to. They have so many. It's it incredible. is amazing when you start pulling them up on YouTube and you realize that you can listen to the Cars for about three days. Yeah. And know every single song. Yeah. I always have a, a Cars CD in my car. <laughs> How ironic. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Have you ever tried to walk on water like Rick? No. <laughs> uh, they've had some great music videos. Only Rick can do it. You know, music videos are... They have some, some definitive music videos, too, yeah. I, I just... I'm so excited that they're finally in the Rock of Hall. Yeah, Rock it's Hall about... Thir- what is it, like 15 years too late? They, they, should have been, they should have been inducted a long time ago. But at the same time, right on time! Yeah, right on time. Because <laughs> <laughs> now they get you to induct them. If yeah, it was 15 cool. years ago, maybe you wouldn't have been here. Yeah, that's true. true. I was 12. Is there anybody else that that's in the Rock Hall that you're um, a, a big fan of? Tonight? I mean, just in general, like that everybody thing is, tonight. It's corner yeah. to corner. I mean, tonight's got a great, uh, great list of bands. And um, did you notice that I was just talking to Bon Jovi? Yeah. <laughs> Richie. You were talking to Richie. <laughs> Sam Bora. Straight. Sam Bora. Um, I had John first and then Richie. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I got them both. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, I mean, just about everybody I'm sure that's that's ever accepted the honor has has had some kind of influence on us. Um, you know, down the line. Yeah, um, and I heard there's going to be some special performances this evening that we're not really allowed to talk about, but oh. there's going to be so some much. pretty awesome things going on. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> we're working on it. Uh huh. Yeah, maybe, maybe you'll like, you know, where put is the camera for me? Oh my God! It's, it's the it's pink iPhone the whole thing time. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> Check out his uh, right. derriers. Right. How's it going? It's, it's very, very nice to have you. Yes, um, and it's very cold. I was, I was told that I have to call you Sweet Love or I get fired. That's my wife. <laughs> I don't call her Beth. I call her Sweet, Sweet Love. Sweet Love. Yeah, you know, I'm poetic, too. Um, do you, what do you call John Bon Jovi, then? Sweet Love. <laughs> See? That, does that He's make a, it less special or more he's special? very beautiful. I met him in 1987, somewhere around there, and I just thought he was the hottest girl I ever saw in my life. I mean, life. for yeah. real, He really right? was. He really was. Um, and by the way, I heard that today is officially Bon Jovi Day. It is at our house. You should see. <laughs> I walk around. I hairsprayed my hair for an hour because Whoa. of in honor of Bon Jovi Day. It's it looks awesome. good. How yeah. much Aquanet do you go through? Aquanet. <laughs> I destroyed 50 ozone layers. Ow! All right. Amazing. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. Are you We're going moving. inside? You're going to be inducting Bon Jovi this evening? I will. What, I will. What was, how, how, what, how far back do you guys go? Um, probably 30-something years when the guys first started out. I, um, I used to have them on my radio show. I liked them. And they weren't uh, huge stars yet, but um, you knew they were going somewhere. Uh, it didn't take much to prognosticate. I knew they would do okay. And now they got you introducing them on probably one of the biggest days of their life. Yes, yes, and uh, I'm excited to do it. I'm actually honored to uh, be with them. They, um, not only are they really nice guys, but uh, I'm a big fan of rock and roll music. After all, I made my living playing records. And um, Back when they were still records. Yeah, I can remember, um, I think it was Bad Medicine. It was like over six minutes long. I could go to the bathroom, get my news copy, read a few commercials, and pull a couple of records. It was great. <laughs> Thanks, Bon Jovi. Uh, real cool. Thank you, Bon Jovi. Love these guys. We need to show off this outfit, first of all. You look amazing. Do you have, like, seven wardrobe changes tonight, too? Yeah, two, two. Okay, only two. Only like two. Yeah. <laughs> only two. It's all in the details, okay? Now, you're going to be performing Nina Simone this yeah. evening. Yeah. Um, she was such an amazing woman, such an incredible talent. I mean, how do you feel? Are you going to go up there and embody her? Are you, what, what do you, how's it going to be when you get up there? Um, I mean, yeah, I think... I think I she is probably one of my biggest inspirations in why I do music, why I do it the way I do. Mm. Um, and and so I feel like I'm always trying to embody her in a sense. She she really did kind of raise me in music and so but also just paying tribute, you know, honoring her legacy, honoring what she stood for, what she sacrificed, you know. So I, I'm I'm, you know, just hoping to to honor her tonight and show how she's inspired me as an artist. I feel like she could have been inducted for the last hundred years. <laughs> but I almost feel like it's more perfect that it's happening right now. Especially right now. I think it's a lot of her lyrics and her songs are unfortunately still relevant. But fortunately, we have her entire sort of pantheon of music to encourage us, to inspire us, and to... And it's, and it's revelatory in a way that, you know, that this really is our duty to be standing up and to be the, the hands and the feet. And so, but yes, that was my first reaction when they're like, Nina's being inducted. I'm like, she's not in the Hall of Fame Right? Already. How did that happen? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's good. Tonight, tonight we get her. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Are you a fan of anyone else that's being inducted tonight? Um, oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. Moody Blues. Oh, yeah. yeah. And actually, the producer I did my first album with worked with Moody Blues as oh, well, wow. too. So, um, Moody Blues, definitely. Bon Jovi you know the cars everyone these are like legends they I feel are. like we sing their songs all the time so and you know Rosetta Thorpe you know every yeah absolutely <laughs> oh yeah I'm a I new fan like, oh, and oh good oh, good I want the world to know who she I is I think that's what I love about these shows so much is they get people new audiences are yeah. now familiarized with her with Nina so it's it's amazing I'm a fan of everybody tonight yeah it's gonna be great yeah I'm an observer just as much as I am a performer and there's gonna be such great performances tonight and <laughs> I can't wait for everybody and there's gonna be some surprises too yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Lots Surprises for me, too. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know everything that's going on. So. Don't tell anyone. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much Thank for you. stopping by.
Go get warm. All right. I the show's going to start like any minute. So you guys. Yeah, when did the temperature drop? It was yeah. like 70 as earlier. As soon as you got I was to like, Cleveland. Oh. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, Rock fans. Thanks for tuning in with us to the first ever official red carpet show. You made history with us, with me. Thank you so much. We're going to head inside. I'm going to get warm. You're going to see history being made on stage as the class of 2018 joins the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame.